What's up guys, today I'm in New York City to check out Takeout, do some sneaker shopping, and also check out their apothecary assortment. So with all that being said, let's do it. So guys, we're in Takeout New York at the Grand Avenue store. They've got some really, really great stuff. They've got, of course, you got the Panda Dunks, which is awesome to see in-store. You never really see these in-store. Oh, you're starting to see them more, but it's great to see them in-store. We got, um, ooh, these Jordans. These are the, uh, ooh, ooh, I forget the exact name of them, the, uh, the Nige or something, but they're really, really clean. I love this colorway a lot. I really love the brown and the cream. I think that's really clean. These twos are incredibly clean. I love the maroon. Such a nice hit. The gray outsole, so sick. Of course, you got Air Force Ones. Very, very clean. You got some more Dunks. I forget the name of these. These are like a deconstructed Dunk. But they are cool. I like the gum outsole a lot. We got some Vapor Max Pluses in all black. Very, very popular shoe. Crazy how popular that shoe is. Got some Air Maxes here. Oh, I like this colorway a lot. I like the yellow and the blue with the snake skin on the Nike swoosh. We've got this sort of like a, what is that? Faux ostrich leather going on. Maybe Stingray? I'm not sure exactly what that is. We've got this nice corduroy, color, corduroy colorway right there. And then we got the pennies. I love these colorways a lot. This reminds me a lot of Stussy's. I don't think it is, but very, very clean colorway nonetheless. That green, you've got the tan. That's awesome. And of course, the LeBron's in all purple. That's a dope colorway. Love it. Love it. Not something I could rock personally, but I do like the colorway a lot. And of course, you've got the Hirachis with the semi translucent Nike in the back. That's a nice hit. Over here, we got a bunch of dunks. We got gray leather, the canvas, we got suede. Of course, we got the apothecary socks at the front. Very cool, love that. Of course, these guys, I forget what these are called. Some sort of fish themed, <laughs> but it's cool. I like it. So it looks like they've got the elephant print Jordan 1s that just dropped. These are super, super clean. I like these a lot. You too. I've also got the Nike Airships in this really nice gray colorway. I really love these a lot. These are super clean. Airships are one of my favorite things that Jordan brand brought back, uh, brought back. Love them. And then over here, we've got the apothecary apparel section, which has the script logo hats up there. You've got the apothecary hoodies. Looking very, very clean. And then you got the shirts. You got the cream with the green. You've got the vintage black with the, uh, the sort of yellowish white. You've got the black and gray. I should know what the actual color of this is, but I don't remember the exact awesome we would know. And then you've got white and orange. All four shirts are incredibly fire. They're moving like crazy, which is awesome. I'm also rocking the, uh, the black one right now, which I love. Of course, the script logo hat and then some, uh, some sample pants, which we're not gonna talk about just yet. But yeah, amazing. Love it. If you guys want any of this apparel, you can not only grab it online, but you can also grab it in store at takeout. We've got the little feet heat section. We got so much good stuff. We got some Ace, Ooh, one of my favorite releases of the year. We've got the Air Jordan 3 Reimagines. Incredible. Love them. We've got the Cardinal 7s. We got the True Blue 1s. We got some uh, almost bred ones. I forget the name of these mids, but they're mids. We got some tiny NMDs, too, interestingly enough. Some Air Forces. Awesome. Right at the checkout counter, we got the apothecary sock section, which is incredible. We got a bunch of different colors. We got tonals, we got pink, we got neon green, we got a different neon green. We've got reds, greens, blues. There's a bunch of names for these colors. I just forget what they are. Check out the website if you guys are looking for the specific names. We also got the Pretty Much Broke Hats, one of my favorite things we've ever made. We've got the 3D printed apothecary logo, which is something I did. Well, I'm trying to make a bigger one, but I'm having some trouble. And then of course, we got the apothecary script hats. All looking really clean. If you guys want to grab any apothecary socks to take out, they're right up at the front. I'm also grabbing three pairs of apothecary socks for some friends tonight because we're going golfing. I want them to all match, so <laughs> grabbing these for takeout. So over here in the women's section, we got a lot of stuff. We've got some 270s, we've got the elephant print highs, we got these uh, these black and white mids, of course we got the lows, and then we also have these panda dunk highs and these red and white dunk highs, which are super clean. I like these a lot. And of course, some Air Forces. Grabbing some shoes, grabbing some socks. Check this out and tell me what you think. They're heavy. There's only one shoe in here. Yeah, I only gave you one. You get the idea with one. I, I do it's have another really one. really heavy. <laughs> All right, I know what it is because Seth ruined the surprise, but I haven't <laughs> seen it in person. What, the, what, is, is that like a, what is that? It's a Balenciaga. It's a clog. It's rubber oh. and it's extremely heavy. Is that for real? It's for real. Dude, guess how much it was. It, it, lo it looks like those, I don't know, 800. Balenciaga, right? Something like that. Four, oh. five? 1,200. 1,200? Wow. <laughs> it looks like one of those things that- It's not even soft. No, it's not. It's not soft at all. <laughs> Did you try it on? Yeah. So what'd you like say? Wooden. It used to be like, it looks like one of those things that those Asian people wore back in the day. <laughs> those wooden, um, <laughs> 
You know what I'm talking it's about. It's like uh, what, not Asian people, but like, like Dutch, Polish right? or Dutch. Yeah, yeah, they got the, the clogs. I, it's, dude, it's plastic. It's, it's not even it's real not wood. It's not even wood, it's like, it's, it's plastic. Oh, that's not wood. No, no, oh, okay. it, I mean, it looks like wood. <laughs> okay, I thought it, would look, I thought it was wood. What do you think, Chris? It's pretty, it's pretty wild. Yeah, but it'll make you like five inches taller. It does make you taller. A lot taller. But also, the bad news is though, technically, I, I have tried it on, but if I try it on or get any scuffs on it, uh, I can't return it. That would be pretty funny if you can't return it. I know, it's $1,200, like, I wouldn't be able to return it. <laughs> <laughs> actually feel like pretty solid quality. Right? <laughs> they come with a dust bag. No, I got both. I got both. I just didn't want anyone to try it on, so I didn't pull out the other one. <laughs> they, they really do like, I mean, look at the heel. Like, it's probably like, what, three inches? Because the heel of the shoe is like more than three inches. Yeah, yeah more than three inches, maybe even four. I, I don't know if it's a unisex, if it's like a like a men's shoe, a women's shoe. It's, it came in men's sizing. It's a men's shoe. It is a size eight though, but it fit me. I'm a size nine, and it still fit me when I tried it on. It's a it's a Harry style vibe. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Some watermelon sugar going on. <laughs> <That's what it laughs> is. It's broke you last week. It is. It is right. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how much taller you get too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. It actually, with the with the with the jogger style pants, it doesn't look terrible. Like I would never wear this, but I mean, you definitely are pulling off better than I pulled it off earlier. <laughs> I don't know if that's an insult. Or... <laughs> how do they feel? Like are they comfy? No. They're <laughs> really restrictive. <laughs> Brick. Yeah, I could definitely. What size are you? Uh, nine and a half. Oh, okay. So yeah, they'd be. Funny. They're size eight. There's the only size available. All the other sizes sold out. Oh <laughs> sure, don't want to try them on? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so Josh, what do you think of these new Balenciagas? <laughs> <laughs> Some Pinocchio ass shoes. <laughs> I mean, they feel better than they look, right? Yeah, that's what I thought too. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. That ain't it. <laughs> basketball history is here for you. So Josh is really good at basketball stuff. So Josh is probably gonna kill this. Do you want, maybe pull up current basketball. You know who's really good at this stuff? Tom Stefani did it previous, but give me current basketball trivia. What team won the very first NBA game? Okay. Is it the war? Is it wait? Is it? I'm the, gonna give you options. Okay. You want options? Is yeah, of course. New York Knicks, Chicago Stags, Toronto Husky, or Philadelphia Warriors. And he's Philadelphia Warriors. Uh, the Knickerbockers? Yeah. <laughs> what new kind of shot did Joe Fultz score a record 63 points in one game in Three 1949? Three point. Three point. Oh, um, uh, no, it, it couldn't be the, uh, this guy. No, no is it? Was it Scott? Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. Is there such a thing? Where was Kanye West born? China. China? You have Atlanta, Los Angeles, Toronto. Yeah. Nice. What has the noise to it? Is it uh, the same website? Yeah. <laughs> How old was Kanye when his parents divorced? I don't know. Nine, twelve, six, three. <laughs> okay, what does Kanye's name mean in Swahili? The great one, the only one. Only one. All right, so I know I left it a kind of a cliffhanger as to what the shoe was that I picked up at takeout, but here it is. This is a couple days later. Um, <laughs> I really like, I went home and I completely forgot to film this for you guys, but if you guys have any guesses, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm gonna show you in a couple seconds, so I guess it doesn't even matter. Here we go. The Foam Posit Red Metallics, a shoe from back in the day that's coming back with a, uh, a leather I stay instead of suede. Man, this shoe is fire. I'm definitely gonna rock this shoe to the office tomorrow. Super stoked on it. I'm gonna film a segment for the, uh, the upcoming vlog, not this vlog, and get everyone's opinions, but this is a classic, man. I love this shoe. I'm so, so stoked on this. But yeah, that's, uh, 
I guess that's pretty much it. Obviously, you guys already saw the clips of us just hanging out at the office. I didn't really have another vlog to put those in, so that's where Andrew ended up putting them, which is, thank you so much, Andrew. Appreciate you for editing the vlog. If you guys wanna follow Andrew, his links will be down in the description below. But um, don't steal him, he's my editor. You can't have him. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.